And, and here's the interesting thing. This man met me at a gas station and he was like, bro, bro, do you believe in magic? And I'm like, magic? He said, yeah. He said he has his friend who's from Ghana. This friend told him that back in Africa, police came to arrest some guys who were selling weed. And these guys made magic and this weed turned to water. And when the police walked away, these guys turned that water back to weed. And he was like, is this real? I told him it depends on the angle you look at it. Yeah. About 150 years ago, everybody believed in the law of gravity. We said something with a certain amount of mass can sustain an air. The Wright brothers came up with the law of aerodynamics, which is the manufacturing of airplanes. Now we see that something with a certain amount of mass can stay in air. Just thinking about the concept of the manufacturing of airplane is like magic to me. Right up to this day, I don't know what it takes to produce an airplane. So it's like magic to me. Anything which you are ignorant about is like magic. Or some people will say it's witchcraft. Anything which you're ignorant about is witchcraft because you don't know what that person is doing to produce the kind of results they are producing. I told him what you see going on in Africa is science. And science that if a second thought is given to it, it can be refined and taught in schools. Today, what the Wright brothers invented, which is airplane, these guys mechanics and bicycle repairers. The biggest witchcraft is ignorance. And this witchcraft is being produced by the ignorant person. Like you being ignorant and calling that person a witchcraft, that is witchcraft you are exercising. Because you don't know what that person is doing to produce the kind of result they are producing. So you tell me it's witchcraft. And that witchcraft is your ignorance about what that person is doing to get the kind of result they are getting. So if you educate yourself about what that person is doing, I don't think you call it witchcraft. So it's just to understand what that person is doing and try to do it if you love it. You can learn it. Everything is learned. And God has blessed us with a lot of gifts, a lot of talent, a lot of gifts. And if you don't understand what the other person is blessed with, you look at it as witchcraft. So if you do love this video, just click the share button, like it, subscribe and any question you have just drop it below and i'll find out time and answer your questions or any topic you want me to talk about just drop your comments below i'll be more than happy to answer you.